we have some very, very good news and some very, very bad news on the issue of gay marriage. Reuters reports, quote, the Supreme Court declined to take up the hotly contested issue of gay marriage, a surprise move that will allow gay men and women to marry in five states where same-sex weddings were previously banned. So clearly that's part of the good news. They continue, by rejecting appeals in cases involving Virginia, Oklahoma, Utah, Wisconsin, and Indiana, the court left intact lower court rulings that struck down bans in those states. Other states under the jurisdiction of appeals courts that struck down their bans will also be affected, meaning the number of states with gay marriages is likely to quickly jump from 19 to 30. There's your good news. Your good news is that now more than half of the states in the United States of America finally allow gay marriage. So at least 10 more states have legal gay marriage since the Supreme Court did not want to hear this slew of cases on that issue. Again, the good news. So the bad news is, and a lot of people probably think, what do you mean? What's the, what's the bad news? The Well, I'm a purist on an issue like this, so I'm kind of like, a, all right, all right, all right, yay, let's celebrate, but let's get to tomorrow and try to get all fucking 50 states. The bad news is we were hoping the court would hear one of the cases and that that case would uh, rule that because of equal protection under the law, uh, all states in the country have to allow gay marriage. That's what I was hoping for. Because in a recent case, it went 5-4 in favor of striking down parts of DOMA, the Defense of Marriage Act, so the anti-gay uh, law. Uh, so we were hoping that they'd hear another case, and they would also side in favor of gay marriage, and then they'd make it so that in all 50 states, we have legal gay marriage. They did not do that. They did not do that. So the good news is, there's at least 10 more states that are allowing gay marriage. The bad news is, it's not all 50 states. Now, here's where my strategy comes in, that it's basically guaranteed that this will not happen. And why won't this happen? Because the Democrats are bitches. But my strategy is called the Blitz. So what do you do? You do exactly what it sounds like. If I'm the Democrats, this emboldens me, and I'm proposing legislation to legalize gay marriage on a federal level every day. Every day. So, what's going to happen? Well, of course, John Boehner has to allow a vote on it, okay? And uh, he's not going to do that. So, you propose it once, you do this big media hoopla, and tie it in with what just happened. Yes, today's a great day, we're celebrating, 10 more states are allowing gay marriage, alright, let's go on all the talk shows and talk about it. So, they all go out there and all the Democrats unveil this plan. They say, alright, well, in honor of this great uh, new ruling, we want to take it a step further and do the right thing. 59% of the American people are on the side of legalizing gay marriage on a federal level, so we are going to propose a bill tomorrow to listen to the American people, and we're going to get this done, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, let's all get excited about this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then what happens? You just set the media narrative. That's the media narrative. We had a big victory on the gay marriage front, and then there's going to be another one. The Democrats are proposing a bill. Then what happens? John Boehner doesn't allow a vote. Boom. Outrage. Outrage. You just created a news story. John Boehner says fuck you to gay people in however, in, you know, uh, the remaining states that don't allow gay marriage. Okay? Boom. Media hoopla. Media hoopla. So then what happens? You got them on the rope. On the ropes. You're, you're fucking body shot, body shot, uppercut. Okay? You're, you're Mike Tyson in these motherfuckers. And then what happens? It, it, look, it hurts. It, they... They might seem like they're fucking made of steel because they're so stupid and they don't give a fuck, right? They're Republicans, but that hurts them politically. So, then, okay, let it all settle down. They blocked it. They're assholes. Then you come out again. Why not do this? Come out again and say, okay, well, John Boehner, uh, come out here and explain to the American people why you think you're a fascist dictator and you can override their will. Because it's not about us. It's about you just said no to the American people. These are the people you're supposed to be representing. What's happening, man? What's going on here? And then what, what's he going to say? <laughs> He doesn't have reasoning. What well, reasoning? My ass. He's John Boehner. He's smoking a cigarette and drinking a whiskey at 9 o'clock in the morning and going to massage parlors. Okay? Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> it's probably the best thing John Boehner does. But it, 
you're going to put him in a corner again. Great. So propose the bill again. Do the media hoopla again. He's going to slap it down again. And then and now the Democrats, President Obama, you know, Harry Reid, although he might want to sit out just because he's boring as fuck. But all the Democrats, you know, give fucking press conferences. I cannot believe that this son of a bitch is not listening to the American people. This is unbelievable. This is like blocking the Civil Rights Act. Could you believe it? Uh, it's like when conservatives wanted to block the Civil Rights Act. We're seeing it again, ladies and gentlemen, in the year 2014. Isn't this amazing? Write this down in the history books. They're blocking this. What terrible people they are. Are, you keep proposing the bill until they allow a vote on it. Then what's going to happen? They'll eventually allow a vote, and then it'll get voted down. And then you do the same thing. These sons of bitches voted against gay marriage! How could they vote against gay marriage? 59% of the American people are on the side. Then what happens? Eventually, you cower them into a corner. You beat them down. You beat them down. You beat them down. You beat them down. You set the tone in the country. And then if it doesn't fall through legislation, it will eventually fall through the courts. But the entire time, the Democrats will be on the record as, we are with the American people. We are on the right side of history. We are fighting for this. We're fighting for this. And that would be the way to go about this and get gay marriage on a federal level ASAP. But the Democrats are not going to do that. Why? Again, I repeat myself, they're bitches. They're, they're so nonchalant, casual. Well, people agree with us anyway, so we'll just sit back and relax and fucking take it easy. Or you get out there and you fight, because that's why we voted for you, you dipshits. Get out there and fight. This is a black or white issue. This is not a nuance. Oh, what's your opinion? I don't know. No. Equal rights for gay people, period. End of discussion. We should not sleep until we get it in all 50 states. So, although we've made a step in the right direction in, in terms of getting 10 or more states that now allow gay marriage today... We're not done yet, man. We're not done yet. And the Democrats should listen to me and do this. And by the way, what's the upside of what I'm saying other than just fighting for the right thing? Because clearly that's not enough for elected people. They're narcissists and, and they're assholes. But uh, hey, dipshit, it's going to help you in your elections. So now I'm speaking in terms you can understand. You will have a personal benefit if you do this plan that I'm laying out for you. Now I'm going to sit back and watch as you proceed not to do it.